We need to see who's renting box 732. 732. Yeah, 732. It'd be Bertrand Small, 620 West 14th. Which would put him in the middle of the Hudson River. Who picks up his mail? Not a clue. We got 1,200 boxes here. We got a key, it's got a box number on it. As long as the key matches, the account's paid up, you get your mail. We're gonna station an officer here until Mr. 732 shows up. Mr. 732? Thanks a lot. Close the door, please. What's that? What is that? I didn't know that was in the envelope. It, it was just a job. Good. Keep talking. Keep talking. Because the more you lie about the pills, the easier it's going to be for us to make you on a murder charge. I'm a courier. I get paid 100 bucks a week. I, 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 I didn't kill anybody. That... Who set this up? My buddy. He, he used to do this run. But then he landed the lead playing Stonewall Jackson in this outdoor Civil War drama. See? And what do you do with the package once you pick it up? I repackage the envelope, and then the, the return address says Morgan Talent Management, and I deliver it to 7th and 36th. Laszlo's building. Yep. So we're thinking it's time to bring in narcotics. Wasn't it just this morning you were saying they were Boy Scouts and they might intimidate the witnesses? That was before we uncovered Laszlo's little sideline business. We're now thinking a little intimidation's in order. Intimidation? Well. You need to talk to Joey Poole. Listen up, people! New York City Police Department! Keep your hands where we can see them. What the hell are you doing? What? Hey, you can't do this! In case you haven't noticed, we just did. Joey, call Latham and Watkins now! Ms. Laszlo, I don't think you're gonna want to ride in the wagon with your employees. How you people transport me is hardly my concern. Okay, a little clarification is in order. The press is waiting for you out front. I'm sure they would love to get a photo of Nina Laszlo, drug dealer to the stars. What do you say? So, if you're ready to talk about Jasmine now, we can take you out the back way in our car. It's up to you. It's fine. Good. You're at the top of your game. You got all the best talent in the city. You make a lot of money, and still you feel the need to mess around with this drug crap. It's not for profit, obviously. So it's a charity you're running. Speed keeps the girls in fighting trim. To them, it's like vitamins. You know something? You are so damn cavalier. You raise a stink, you lose them to another agency. Oh, is that why Jasmine and Vanessa were attacked? Because they raised a fuss? No. Carlo Parisi had a private Polaroid collection of himself with models. Doing what? Do I have to spell it out for you? Yes, you do. <clears throat> Jasmine said he made her Lewinsky him for his collection. Then he refused to use her on the shoot, and she got pretty pissed off. You see these masterpieces? No. Jasmine just told me she stole them. She stole all of them. She said she was going to use them to make sure that he never worked again. Well, do you know what she did with them? The next thing I heard, she was in the emergency room. <laughs>